I think if you're a person in the community, you think of school safety as intruders only, and there's more to school safety than intruders. Um, when you talk about the halos, it's about student safety. It's their health involved. It's not whether they're bringing a vape. I mean, you know, everybody has a right to choose if they want to smoke or if they want to vape or whatever, but in our schools, we got to care for the whole student. And if their health is important to us, and we want to make that statement to them that it's not allowed in our schools, but it's not safe for you either. And then when it comes to the view scans, you know, the view scans are just instrumental in the idea that um, with school shootings around our country, with gun violence in our communities and stuff, it's important for us to make sure that this is the safe haven for our students and we want them to know that that's what our um, important value is. That is an answer to a lot of the problems that we have. Um, some of our schools have uh, the, the arm ones that we can scan students on, but we, we tend to miss a lot of things with that. So uh, the view scans is just the next step up. Uh, the view scan with the metal detector, a uh, conventional metal detector, we have people walking through the metal detector, it goes off, we're having to try to determine is there something on them or it could be at on them. When we're looking at kids, you're looking at, you know, they have a lot of different areas where they may try to hide something, a lot more difficult to, um, and have, being able to pinpoint exactly where that's at would help us tremendously. The new technology that we, that we are installing here at the school gives us a sense that we are being proactive with our student behavior and that our students um, uh, know what to expect and know that thing, there's certain things that here at the school we do not um, approve of. Well, increasingly over the last few years, my time as the discipline um, administrator has been spent on, you know, vapes and, and suspicion of vapes and, and those kinds of things. It's been increasing really heavily over the last couple of years, actually. Um, I think this is going to help ex expedite some of those issues and maybe the hope is, um, and the exciting part is that I hope it's going to deter a lot of the behavior that we're seeing and as far as students bringing vapes uh, and, and understanding that they can't hide the vape from us um, and that uh, they would just not bring them. And that's, I'm hoping that's what you know, this proactive approach is going, to be, is going to do for us. Well, vaping in general is easy um, to hide. Um, when you're talking about a vape, it's not talking the same way as smoking a cigarette where the smoke's going up in the air. A lot of these vapor uh, pens shoot no smoke up at all and you don't know anything. Plus, plus they have a lot of the odorants that they can put in it to hide the smell of it and stuff. So it's hard for us as uh, administrators in the school to even identify vaping. Um, but the good thing about the halo sensors is it, it identifies the chemical and it's the chemical itself that sets the alarm off. So I think that what the kids are actually gonna be is they're gonna be surprised that they're getting caught. I mean, I know they say, we're gonna tell everybody that there's vape sensors in the restrooms, but I don't think they understand what it's doing. Yeah, SWC has played a, a, a valuable part of this for us. And um, I think it really comes back to customer service. Um, I've got a, a phone number that I can call and I, I either get an answer or I get a call back almost immediately. Um, so to me that's important for us is to say that if there's a need out there that we have that I can make that phone call, run something by and we throw ideas off of what's the next available thing that we could do. Um, but it's just been absolute wonder, uh, wonderful to work with them because of the training that they've given us inside our school buildings, um, the talks with our departments as far as the installs, getting the equipment to us, doing the billing, it's just been an ease to work with them. Well, SWC, the biggest thing for me is the training. You guys uh, being willing to come out and, and teach us and being so uh, readily available for phone calls and emails, um, that's been the biggest thing. Of course, with any technology, you have those questions. Uh, and SWC's done a great job of uh, will, being willing to come out and train and, and do demos for us and those kinds of things. It's been real helpful for the implementation of all of this technology. I feel parents would be relieved. As a parent myself, I would be relieved to know that, um, that this technology is being used in our schools. Um, I think more and more the parents are, are, that I talk to on the phones are surprised by their, their teen's activity. Um, and, I'm, and I'm hoping that this will give them some relief as far as understanding that if they're doing something they're not supposed to at school that administrators will be alerted and then therefore parents will be alerted and they'll be informed about what their students, their student activities uh, when they're not with them, when they're at school. Well safety is always the, the 
paramount to anything you do in the school system. Of course, we all want academic achievement and improved test scores and things, but the first thing is, is every parent wants to know when they send their child to the Murray County School System that they're safe and they're gonna come home just like they did when they left. And that is our ultimate goal, uh, is to make sure everyone is secure and safe because then when you feel secure and you're safe, you can prosper in academic achievement and athletics and everything else.